Members and supporters of the Cobb County Republican Party in Georgia gathered at their headquarters in Marietta late on Friday to watch Democratic U.S. Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican challenger Herschel Walker trade blows in a contentious televised debate. The showdown is a key contest that could help determine control of the Senate in the November 8th congressional elections. The two sparred over a range of issues from abortion to policing to personal integrity. Walker, a one-time football star and political novice backed by former U.S. President Donald Trump, sought to brand the incumbent as a rubber stamp for Democratic President Joe Biden's agenda, which Republicans have painted as responsible for inflation, crime and other social ills. Because I said President Trump is my friend. Warnock pastor at a historic Atlanta church who has served less than two years in the Senate, presented himself as a committed public servant who has worked to cap the price of insulin, control gun violence, and protect rights. That a patient's room is too narrow and small and cramped a space for a woman, her doctor, and the United States government. The race has already been rocked by media reports that Walker, who has voiced opposition to abortion without exceptions, paid for an abortion in 2009 for a woman he was dating who later gave birth to one of his children. And on abortion, you know, I'm a Christian. Walker calls it a flat out lie. Reuters has not independently verified the claim. Many of the three dozen attendees came away fired up about Walker's chances, saying they were impressed by his performance. Latana Disher, a consultant for nonprofits and an East Cobb County resident, had high praise. I was quite pleased, very well pleased with Herschel Walker's performance. What I saw him do tonight as a competitor, and that's how we most know him, was to really stand up for the issues that are on his heart. Joe Webb, a retired military service member and Marietta resident, even compared Walker to Trump. Herschel hit a home run tonight. I don't like doing sports analogies, but he did, and uh, I'm just so proud of him. I saw him when he first started the campaign, a little rough about speaking, but he was Trump Jr. tonight, in my opinion, with the way he presented himself, his character, his control, and he is a speaking the truth. During the hour-long debate in Savannah, Walker accused Warnock of attacking the police, empowering criminals, and allowing the powerful painkiller fentanyl into Georgia by not protecting U.S. borders. Walker was admonished by a debate moderator for using a prop that appeared to be a badge, after Warnock referred to dubious claims that Walker has worked in law enforcement and to a decades-old police report about Walker threatening to have a shootout with police. I've never threatened a shootout with the police. Well, and now I have to respond to that. We are, we are, we are no, moving no, 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 on, no. gentlemen. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am work with many police officers. I ask you to put that prop away. The Republican has acknowledged struggling in the past with mental health and was asked if he still receives treatment. I talked to my pastors and I continue to get help if I need help, but I don't need any help. I'm doing well. Democrats hold slim majorities in the Senate and House of Representatives. Senate control could be decided by the outcome of races in Georgia, Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, New Hampshire, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. A recent opinion poll conducted by the University of Georgia showed Warnock leading Walker 46 percent to 43 percent among likely voters. If neither candidate gets more than 50 percent of the vote on November 8th, the race would be decided in a December 6 runoff election. Each candidate pledged to accept the outcome of the election.